Girlies, it's me and girl Enoch back in another video and today we're going to be doing a chit chat ramble video today um again because I know last week I gave y'all another one well, one I'll give y'all another one this this time around and it's gonna be an update um on my video dating while trans um it's gonna be an update video on that and you know what I've come what guys I've come in contact with contact with since then and how I've even navigated the dating space and loving me in, in a different spectrum now too. So yeah, please stay tuned for this. And also to make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. It really, really, really does show me that you guys um, really do like my content and that I'm on the right road, girl. So yes. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into it, okay? All right, so boom. Um, let's give y'all a little, just in case if, oh, disclaimer, sorry about this. Sorry if the sun going in and out, girl. I am filming my phone in front of the window. So yeah, that's all. That's, you might get shadows, you might not get shadows, but bear with me, guys. I wanna create a film room really, really bad. Going to, but in due time. But anyway, so just in case the people don't wanna watch the video, the last video, even though y'all should go watch it, my first video, Dating While Trans, on my channel. Um, if it's not in the link, if it's not in the description box below, it should be somewhere on the screen or again it's on my channel so just go look for it it's not i don't have that many videos so you gotta scroll all the way all the way down girl might take those couple squirrels but not that many squirrels 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 i'm so country um but yeah girl so but anyway i'm catch y'all up so just because you want to go watch other videos sometimes i, I know i'm girl i don't feel like we're watching an old video so i get you so basically what happened was that like i was just telling y'all how um men are weren't just my forte and how I got treated right one time, growing up crying, and how um, other stuff's gonna happen. I'm not crying in this video, so I'm looking for tears. Um, but yeah, and how men just basically kind of not screwed me over, but kind of screwed me over. And then on on the, like I said on, on that video too, I just was like, yo, like only been rolling on one actual date, and yeah, and, and how I kind of lost that boy. Where I feel like I didn't lose him because it would been a fail of a relationship because I wouldn't been that into him as he was into me. Okay, and even then I was a whole different girl, a whole different motives, and stuff like that back then. So this is 2021 20, Enoch, um, about to be 21. Yes, my birthday is May something, May 11. Um, so yeah, I'm a 2000 baby. Shout out to the 2000 babies. I'm about to be a 21 year old, almost two years on hormones, and the guys I have dated now or talked to now since I am quote unquote more passable. Well, I have passing privilege, or and I also have pretty privilege. So. Yeah, because so I have those two things. Um, how the dating realm is really how the dating realm dating realm for me has changed since then. Um, I would probably say not that much, but a lot at the same time. Like a little, but not too much, girl. Um, girl, when it comes to boys, it's always gonna be the same. Get around, honey. Because a lot of people don't know I'm trans, which is fine. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not out here. I'm openly proud to be trans. See, this doesn't sound like. I'm openly proud to be trans, but I don't go around screaming every day, all day. I'm a trans girl. I'm a trans girl. I'm a trans girl. I don't do all that. Um, I feel like I have no problem telling people my tea because I feel like, again, it should be awareness and it should be normalized. Um, but then again, I don't just go around screaming that, right? Um, so I recently, since I became more passable, I was past, well, I obviously I became more passable, girl. Lamont was really probably helping me out. I ain't gonna lie to you, girl. I'm definitely softened up. I am doing a hormone update really, really soon. Well, not really, really soon, but like in May. So y'all look out for that. But, um, but hormones really helps like soften stuff like that me out. So yeah. Um, but I've been getting a lot of attention from, not a lot of attention, but like, so, like more than normal attention from guys. Um, per se, um, they still ain't, they still ain't nothing, girl, but still, 
Um, they have been, they, you know, guys are in my life. I'm not going to act like they're not. Guys are in my life. Guys, for guys. Some guys are pursuing me for the right, and some, people, and some guys are pursuing me for the wrong reasons, okay? But they're both pursuing me. Um, recently, I thought I had somebody that I was going to call my boyfriend, but that didn't end up working, girl. And that's a whole little story time in itself. So, yeah. Um, it was just, it was bad. And to give y'all a short story, um, he contacted me on Instagram and, you know, everything was going cool. Everything was going fine. Um, you know, the first few weeks of us, of us inter entertaining each other, it was really nice. Um, we talked on the phone every day. We FaceTimed, we text, like it was just very much good, 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 good. And then out of nowhere, he just switched up. Sadly, but truly, and he didn't know my tea. I already told him what type of girl I was before we even got to that point. So it wasn't because oh, you told me you're trans. Like no, it wasn't that. I tell guys all all the freaking time before they, we get invested in me. I tell them my tea because I don't know drama. I don't need none of that. So yeah. Um. So you know, and he switched up, and I don't know, and and that goes to I guess just just a guy thing in general where they just switch up. I don't know. If, I don't know what got into him. I don't know what happened, girl. I don't know if me being trans got to him. I don't know if the age difference got to him. I don't know if he just he just said fuck this shit. I'm doing them. I don't know, girl. But um, you know, it is what it is, right? Guys gonna come in now your life. Um, I think it's just sad part is again. I never I've never have a boyfriend. Never had a boyfriend before. I never been on the first date. Date like somebody I'm actually into too. Like he's into me. I'm into him. Never been on that type of date where the energy matches. Um, I never been in love stuff like that. Going on 21, girl. Yes. And I understand people like girl like you're only 20. Going on 21, like girl, you got time for all that. And I do. And I'm starting to realize that like mentally, I have to realize that girl like I'm young. I got things to live, I got places to be, things to do, I have goals I need to achieve. So, and already I'm praying and manifesting a lot of that stuff in either way it goes, every day, all day. So, you know, and working towards it, not just saying and actually working towards the stuff. So the fact that um, I might not get a man in no time soon, you know, I feel like, and I hate to say it like this, but I think I want a man for the companionship but not for the drama and in a way like I want a, I want a man I want a relationship without a relationship like in, in a way I feel like something bad because I feel like every girl like because if a nigga told me I'm like how do, how you gonna what you gonna what you gonna what but I feel like if we set each other boundaries like in the, in the beginning like be like yo I want this and this and this I want that and that and that and I don't want this and this and this and that and that and that and then okay cool because that's giving me the time to actually be like okay do I want to get in this involve myself in this or don't I you know what I'm saying so you know that 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 was something bro and then when it came to um and then there's another that's another thing too when it came to that it was like he was pursuing me in a way that made me feel like he wanted me for me, and not saying that he didn't, like he probably did. Like I said, I don't, know, I don't know what happened. Maybe feel like he was out of my league. I don't know what, girl. I mean, I was like out of his league, girl. I don't know what. But I can, you know, I can see how, in a way, got to be intimidated by me because, like, again, I'm a tall girl. Um, I never rest in bitch face, like. I got a rest in bitch face, and that's like, and that's me resting. Like this, just, just me, this is me resting my face. So I can see how that can be intimidating at times, even though I'm a very, very big goofball, goofball but I get it, I get it. Um, I'm like, you know, and it's, I don't know. But, cause I don't know everything. I put my emotions on the internet, girl. Look at me crazy, right? But I wanna give y'all this raw edition of a trans woman and her love life. So I feel like a lot of girls do, but it's always do with like DL trades and da da da. Like I only see a couple of girls actually being in love and you know, and showing a positive narrative um, of trans relationships. Um, guys are interest, interested in trans women. Um, and not to saying that, you know, I'm looking for it. Cause, and, and that's something too. I'm not really looking for a man to come and save me. Because my thing is, I want somebody to add to me, not build me. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like, and that's the same thing for him. I want to add to him, not build him. I don't want to go into somebody or go into and go into a situationship or a, a relationship thinking, oh, I'm about to build this man. Like, no, I want 
him to add on to my canvas, add on to his, we create beautiful art together. You know what I'm saying? Now the sun's trying to go down, so if the lighting is a little off, girl, I'm sorry again. But um, I will use my ring light, but I'm trying to order a new one right now, so I want the quality better. But anyway, but yeah, um, girl. But I said all this to say, all my rambling, like I said, some rambling chit chat, bro. I'm saying this to say this. Um, as trans women, as women in general, but as trans women, because I guess I'm, I'm thinking for a trans experience, please do not be out here looking for somebody to um, to validate you. Look for somebody. If, if somebody's in your life and wants to pursue you, girl, and they're coming from an honest and true place, and you can tell when it's honest and, 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 and you can, oh, girl, look, my speaker went off. You can really tell when it's, um, genuine love and genuine care and genuine likeness because we have women's women's intuition follow your women's intuition girl follow that second thought be like girl he's doing some shady girl what, what's going on or like he's doing this in a way and people will show you how they want how they want to be treated and people will show you how they want to treat you but it's your job to make sure they know that you want to be treated this way if that makes sense if it does not make sense let a girl know in the comments down below but yeah you know, um, make sure you know that you're worth. Make sure you know that everything that you do um, is, well, everything that you do needs to be for you um, to build yourself in a positive manner, whatever that is. Just make sure you get yourself together first before you start looking for somebody else. And I, done, I, and I have to understand it myself. Not saying that I just focus on finding a man because the girl, I ain't gonna lie, back then, a year ago, Enoch was focused on doing everything she needed to do to be a, to, to, to find herself a man. Or I was concentrating more on men, right? And this year's Enoch, girl, I am doing me. I am making sure I'm washing my face, brushing my teeth, drinking my water, taking my moans exercising on occasionally, trying to eat right on occasionally, um, going out, having fun, finding new friends, going on adventures, um, making sure my money's right. Um, it comes down to that too. It's like, girl, make sure you're, you're doing okay. You're doing right. That was by you. Don't let anybody else tell you anything otherwise. Um, and just, and overall, girl, do you, like, do you, boo-boo. Like, I'm telling you, focus on your dreams. Chase those um, chase those dreams of yours, manifest, pray, do whatever you need to do to make sure your, 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 your life becomes reality. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's pretty much it on this little ramble, girl. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I have, to, I have a casting call to go to. If y'all want to see me get ready for my casting call, girl, I am on TikTok. Make sure y'all find me on TikTok, um, Instagram, all that. Because I'm not on here. I'm damn sure on there. So, make sure y'all like me on Make sure y'all like me. Make sure y'all um, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok, all that girl will be in the description box below. If any of y'all have any questions or business, y'all wanna get at me with, girl, my email's down there below too, but that's my business email, girl, and I won't, I won't I need to be paid for shit. So I'm gonna let y'all know that now. Um, but yeah, but I love you guys. So thank you guys for watching and hearing me ramble, girl. And I'm gonna talk to y'all in the way next month. Why are your standards so high? I will never find anyone like him.